Oh, I know what you're thinking. What a little sweetheart. Oh, what could possibly be going wrong with a little, little one like that? Well, have a look at this. Now, look, that up in the air, I've got that, right? Oh, wow. Now, you wouldn't believe how many people contact me about little Shetlands, um, little section A's. It's one of the most common requests is for, for help with behavior problems with those little little ponies. Uh, this particular one, uh, I was just, it is actually a very sweet li li little girl, but um, it wasn't that long ago, the vets came out and it happens. Yeah, there was a problem with the microchipping. Uh, something went wrong, I'm not sure exactly what, but it really, really hurt her. And she completely had a meltdown, lost trust immediately. Uh, and it can, trust can change in a heartbeat with horse. I've had it happen myself. We know, we know we all make mistakes and it takes a long time to build it and a second to lose trust. And this little, little, little bitty thing, she's frightened. It's genuine fear, uh, frightened now um, to the stage where the farriers can't really trim her. The front feet just about, but the back ones, it's getting to the stage where that's very dangerous. And she's a very powerful little thing and she's really thrashing out at the back. She's stopped wanting to be groomed. She's worked out, she can push the owner up against something and then, then just sort of pin her there with her back. Not to hurt her, but just working things out so she doesn't have to uh, be touched really. So yeah, that's why I've gone to this little little um, Shetland. So I hope you um, learn something with this one because there's quite a lot going on here. So you had a, when was that? You had so we've got her going, like riding wise, she's fab, Charlotte Brilliant. can sing, dance, carry handbags, wow. you name it, she'll do it. But she got microchipped and she's going to have to have a microchip for about two months ago now maybe, yeah. and it hurt her. And since then it oh. is, I'm not So when she had the microchips? It started to spiral and then we had her feet done the other day. Yeah. And her, well Matthew's nicknamed her the Naughty Shatler. <laughs> really? It was difficult was it? Oh, we were literally being flung around the sofa. Oh no. And she was near us, but then it was an explosion. Okay. And she's doing, like yesterday, she pinned me with her bum against that. Not to kick me, then just, ha, you can't brush me now. Years so just, just not becoming such a pleasure to be around. Yeah. Um, so I've stopped yeah, Charlotte grooming. Typical one, that one. I think probably the best thing is I do a bit of groundwork. Yeah. Just see uh, quick, quick point out uh, there is some a little bit of wind noise again. Uh, we are still working on that. Charlotte's onto that. So there's a few places where there's a bit of wind noise, um, so I hope that doesn't uh, uh, upset anybody. Uh, the other thing is quite long again. I have tried, we were there, there a couple of hours actually, to re really, really work hard uh, to, to, to make, to make um, any progress with that little pony. Um, so they are long um, and I've had, well Charlotte said we've had a few people saying the videos are too long and I talk too much. Well. Uh, they have to be, I mean, I've cut as much out as I can. They have to be long. Um, and like Charlotte says, Dad, don't break anything that isn't broken. We've got thousands of people messaging and saying that they're, they're learning. So I'm going to just stay as we are. Uh, try and make them as, as, as uh, a little bit less time consuming. But it is difficult if you're going to learn. So like uh, uh, the saying is, uh, if the shoe fits, wear it. If it doesn't then it wasn't for you anyway. So that's what I'm thinking to myself. But uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. But otherwise... So she's a little booger. <laughs> she's a true Shetland. <laughs> Don't they call them Shetland? Yes. <laughs> you are being a Shetland, aren't you? The worst thing is Jess said, Don't forget your wellies to me. <laughs> There's a little disengage. There, she had a little disengage there. 
quite hard to see it if it's just over here. tension goes all over the place mm -hmm. so when you're with her and she's looking all over the place just give her a little tap with this so so she looks at you with both eyes okay. it's going to help the catching because she's a nightmare to catch and yeah. she's like right there look now, now she's back with me yeah. so just try and be aware of it if she's like because I, I notice when you lead her and especially by the stable when she's looking elsewhere all her feet start to really move and yeah you know jump saying yeah. Now she came two paces forward, so I'll just ask for those two paces back. So now she's on me. So just try and keep her attention on you with those bow Quickly cut in here. Uh, you'll notice from my other videos, although this horse is just a little bitty thing, it's exactly, it's an equine brain. So the groundwork, getting to the feet, um, not accepting certain behavior, gaining respect. It is exactly the same. An equine brain is an equine brain. So if it's the smallest horse, or if it's the largest horse, there is no difference. And I think that's why there's so many problems with little horses because we love on them more, we feed them carrots and it's just all a little bit forgiving from the human side, which again, they can't deal with. And that's why I, I, I'm absolutely convinced that's one of the biggest problems with these, these little, little ponies and they go, go astray in our world. It's not their fault. So yeah, we'll carry on now. Right, just a little thing to remember. Yeah. Right now we're going to disengage this side. Um, now she's trying to, obviously she's trying to pop me. She don't want me to look. See what she's doing here? Yeah. So it, it's kind of standard, they prefer you. You will just notice if you look closely at the, the back feet, if, you're, if you've got your glasses on for them little little trotters, uh, she steps around quite a bit and that's that point where she's not feeling comfortable enough to and still wants the power of her flight. And I would just work with it, work with it until she's constantly disengaging, giving up her flight. And that's when she can start to set down and think, well, he is a good guy. He's controlling me, but he hasn't done me any harm. Uh, so every momentary, uh, momentary moment that she disengages, she knows she gave up her power of flight and lived through it. So, okay. She's stepping. She's stepping. She's stepping. She's stepping. We're gonna keep going till we get a couple of disengagements. There. You see that? Yeah. I'll give it a second her attention on me which she is look see her head yes. staying with me she's getting a little bit quiet i don't know she's getting to look because she's look she's doing the eye thing again yeah. so that look what she's doing with her head so you could yeah. spend us a bit more time this side yeah uh, look, look look what she's doing with her head here yeah she, she does she, this look, with look, me look, right right so now it might really help in here look what she's doing yeah, with she, her head that's what it might really help if we can get that thought out of her head about keeping us in that eye, mm -hmm. right? It might help the feet, it might help, who knows? Faria might have been down this side and she don't want it. Just there. like so many I go to, the, these um, horses, ponies are more comfortable in the left eye because everything we do from is from that side and I get it all the time. The right eye is not so, not so good. So that's, again, it's evident there, you can see it work on it, the owner will work on that, do more that side, um, so yeah. So we've got to change her thinking that the human is as pleasurable or no more threat this side yeah. than that side. Now there is a way with the lead rope, we can change her mind about that a little bit. Okay. So, if it, so what I'm trying to say is, to get her to, she's tipping her head constantly this way now, look, yeah. right, now look at me, thank you, look at me, consider me. Uh, so what I would do is start, if she puts me, if I go down this side now, she's going to try and put me in the other eye. Yeah. When she does, then I'll maybe disengage her or lead her, does she lunge at all? Um, 
Yeah, she does. Well, I might do Not something like that, yeah. and then I'll just rest on the other eye. As she then puts me in the eye again, I'll do something again. She will search, and the minute she searches and puts you in the eye she doesn't want, don't do anything. Okay, just yeah. don't do anything. Rub on her. But every time she makes the choice of putting you in the other eye, yeah. then she does something. Okay. It's her choice. And that you can do that in a day. I've, I've changed okay. horses' eye perception in a day. Yeah. You know, in a few hours, maybe an hour in the morning, an hour at night. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to bring her, to, I'll, I'll make a start on that. I'm going to bring her towards me. She's put me in which eye? Yeah, She's put me in the, in the other eye, hasn't she? Yeah. So I'll just disengage her. Right. And I'll say forward. Thank you. Forward. Thank you. Now I'll disengage her. Now I'm going to let her. I'm going to, let, I'm going to put myself this side. Right? And I'm going to do nothing. When she settles her feet, now I'm just going to rub her. Stay here for a second. Now what's she done? She's gone on to the other eye. So I'm going to disengage her. Keep disengaging her. Come on. Now I'm going to set the board with the feet, board with the feet, and with these little horses, what I found really good, if you don't look, because they're so tiny, right, yeah. they're so tiny, I don't look at their bodies or their heads, yeah. I look at just their little t trotters, <laughs> right. this side, Constantly looking at the feet, yeah. and that will this is going to help us out. All this is there. You see how all equine brains are the same. Yeah. They all do it. They'll all follow this path if you're just there. 
So all I'm showing you here out in the field now that this is possible. Yeah. This is. Oh, she's realising. All she's got to do is move the feet where I want them. So I'll, I'll, if I've got a horse that don't stop very well, I'll, I'll trot it around for ages until I can feel it wants it to stop. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm going to wait till she kind of stops herself here. Right, so no, a little spot there. No, no, we'll go again now. So I'm just. I'm starting on the eye that it's better on. Yeah. Right? So, uh, she searched there. Right, so I want her to move. I want her to move, really. Yeah. Because then I'll just... Right, so I'm going to simulate brushing her here. Right, there she moved a bit. So, okay. You can't stop... The thing is, you can't stop a horse moving. You've got to make them want to stop. Yeah. And that's so, such a simple yeah. idea, isn't it? Oh, I missed it. I was still moving. My mass was still moving then. All right, so I'll try again. This is where she couldn't cope there, so we'll go again. Just come on, let's move again. I don't care. You can move. She can move. She knows I'm not going to stop her from moving. So, uh, oh, that's better. Uh, I want her to move. She doesn't like your back legs. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll go on. Yeah. I'm doing that for a good boss. No, I'm just saying, just uh, yeah, yeah, she won't do anything, but she doesn't like it. Uh, I'll let her back up a little bit, so that's fine, that's fine. She's not fleeing forward, is she? No. And do you know why she's not going forward? She started to search, she requested what? Forward motion. Yeah. She thinks she owns back up at the moment, so yeah. I'm giving her that, but she's not going forward, is no. she? So, okay, so we've got that, we've got that. So I reckon I could brush a little bit there, but I'm going to go the other side. Should I have worn my box? <laughs> I know. I, should I have worn my box? Cricket box. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to be alright. Sounds <laughs> like a box. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were on about like a mountain box. Say, I was like, you, you think you know it, don't you? You think you're clever and bang. Oh, dear. No. So what should you do? Casualty. <laughs> Up till I want, but right, this unrequested forward motion is starting to really work. Yeah. Is that noticeable or not? No, it is really noticeable by now. No, no, stuff really but we're just not showing it are we no right so i feel it's good that that's getting somewhere yeah. you've got the perfect what do you call me for <laughs> perfect pony here yeah? perfect shetland <laughs> <laughs> enough now that's quite hard on the main that's quite hard i felt there for a second total acceptance yeah so i'm gonna is she still there so this is how this is where she learns right now yeah. right now it's soaking in right so i'll go now, this is advance and retreat, so I went in quite quick there. Yeah. So, um, if she didn't really have to move, then I knew I had to adjust my approach. But she's coping with that. She's coping with that. She's coping, isn't it, kid? She's a little cuddle. Give you a little cuddle. You might not think that. <laughs> and that's good. <laughs> this is good. Is she stuck there? I'll give her that. If she moves a bit more, I'll take it off. If she moves too much for me, then she's going to move. Yeah. I'll move her. But planting the seed is the hard bit where I come in. Yeah, that's why I couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, planting this seed is the hardest bit. Oh, I like that. I think, I think that's... Oh. <laughs> but she's still... Look what she's doing. Still wants me in yeah. that eye. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go. We'll, we'll leave it there for a minute now. Yeah. We'll go back, give her a second, then we'll tackle the feet. Okay. Right. Does that all make sense? Everything yeah. there. Yeah. 
Okay. Does she want to stand? This is no difference. She stood for a second, so I'm going to leave. I've backed off her. Yeah. And this is where she would never stand. No, this would be back and forth, back yeah. and forth. Well, she licked it. Did you see her loose yeah. her mouth off there? So she's standing. So if she moves, it's the same thing. Okay. You could use a, a little a little crop, but not to hurt her with it, but just tap her over there, tap her over there. Yeah. So just work on something even here. Yeah. This is no difference, right? She, she, she's saying, I'm not used to standing here. No. Oh, I'm doing this. Right? So I'm going to come this side. I'm going to move her feet forward, move them back, move them forward, move them back. So, right, no different here right, okay. than over in that field. Yeah. Look. Yeah. So she searched there. That's probably the quite the stillest she's been yeah. here, is it? For grooming? Yeah. Right? Come on. again so that's quite nice for a shitland that ain't bad is it <laughs> it's not bad is it no that's really good yeah. if she's here then you would move her that way you go the other side you move her that way but you're looking yeah. at her feet not her you're not making it personal with her just a little nudge yeah a little nudge if need be but just ask yeah there's the old saying from hair to hair to skin yeah. uh, and some people say to bone but I, i'm not going there but so you, yeah, just wave it a bit, yeah. uh, and, and then the other way. So you're practicing stuff, yeah. And then when then you give her a chance to stand, and then you put it down, let her yeah. let her know that it's better to stand, and then go back. Okay, yeah. You can do that. I yeah. know you can do that. Yeah. Uh, right. So I think that looks good. Yeah. I think she looks good. A little bit shell shocked with having <laughs> to stand still, but um, she almost looks a little bit proud there. Yeah, she does. I'm sure. She said, I was good all along, and you didn't know. Right, okay, so now we've got the biggie. The feet. The feet, so what I'm gonna do here, for the farrier good with the front? No. The front feet, right. Now come in here, I'm gonna say, right then, kidder. I'm gonna drop that head a little bit now. Hmm? You drop it easier for your mother. Yeah. Huh? Not sure about you. <laughs> right. I'm not gonna let her feel confined. She she knows she's tired. Yeah. Some people say, oh, they don't know nothing. Of course, she knows she's tired. Yeah. Oh, she knows she's tired. Now she knows she ain't tired. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off by asking her if she can give me a foot. If she can. That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> wow, look at this. Oh, we can make some money on this one. <laughs> hey? Thanks. She'll do anything to not pick it up, basically, and lean on you. And lean on me. Right, okay. So, we'll go down. She's tensing in here, so she yeah. knows, she knows right. So here, I'm going to try two ways now. The first way is movement. Yeah. And then see how far I can get with her searching. And the second way will be a little rope. She doesn't like it if you put your hand on the inside of her leg either. That she doesn't like. Well, I think, you know, you get these things Which done. Fine. You get, yeah, but sure. get these things better and everything gets better. Yeah. Just you know everything gets better. So I'm going to see how far I can go down. You see how far I'm going? Yeah, right? So I'm going to, till she moves, when she feels like she needs to move, properly move away from me. Right, so I'm going with her here. I can go down. Oh, she, she searched a bit there. Yeah. I'll give her one more chance. Coming down. She's searching. She's not fleeing. When she does, that's fine. Right? So she's searching. She's trying. I'm touching a leg down here. She's lifting it for you. Yeah. Is that any better than it was? Yeah, she normally Right, was so now if there was a little tiny improvement, yeah. that's got to yeah. soak into her now. Normally she'd go like that. Yeah. I'm really but, but she probably won't lean into me because I'm now a little bit more leading the dance. Yeah. And a horse won't lean in to another horse who's leading the dance, no. who's in charge, yeah? Because that's why she was leading on me. Really, yeah. I think. Yeah. You know. 
Um, so I'll ask again. I'm going to see whether I can get to where I did. She's took the weight off, look. Yeah. Right? She's took the weight off. I'll go with her now. And when she stops. Right, so yes, I've got that. I'm going to go with her. If she moves too much for me, then I'll move her. She's trying so hard here, you wouldn't believe. Yeah, you right? Right. I was really scratching her leg then. Scratching them. Yeah. Right. There. And that's quite good. Happy with that? Yeah. Pretty good? Yeah. Now, if I went straight into Oldham, like a farrier has to, because I've got no time really, yeah. you never get anywhere. Yeah. But the mean is, but they're in a time done. limit, yeah. that's why someone like yourself yeah. has got to yeah. get this done for the farrier, really. Yeah. Um, and then, and what helps if a farrier, if a horse is very bad, mm. is to try and borrow a pair of chaps off the farrier. They've usually got old chaps because it's their smell. And I've found that really helps with some nervous horses because they smell, they okay. smell them, that, 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 the farrier. Yeah. And if you can get, show that that smell, it's yeah. little things really that can yeah. all add up to being a bit, things being a bit easier. So, uh, this is where I wish, uh, this is where I wish I'd... Now I need to just, um, cut in here and explain about the ropes that I use around the fetlock and um, the importance for me to do that because the strength of that little pony could kick anyone and kill I mean a kick in my head and I'm dead so I I do use ropes I, there's reasons for it I'm comfortable with it I don't do it off horseback like some people and I'll explain now where I learnt that from uh, and why it makes so much sense to me and i've had so much success with it, it it's unbelievable and so i'll explain that now so i'm sure a lot of people know i've heard of buck Brannerman, an american clinician um, um he goes around the states doing clinics he's the best horseman i've ever ever met and i used to go to his early early clinics in the late 90s early 2000s and back then it was a little bit different that they used ropes a lot more than they do now and there's not many people in the uk who could do what he does with ropes and although the clips i'm going to show you now are not that particular horse it's it's exactly the same situation and there's actually exactly the same reasons why well, i'm going to explain this little story now and it's quite interesting it's jogged about my memory about this clinic that was in is uh, very close to where he lived uh, in thermopolis wyoming and the things i saw um, uh, stay with me forever but I am going to divulge a couple of them things now because of this video and the ropes and the legs so get ready for this. So I'm at this um, clinic in Thurman Park in Wyoming in the late 90s early 2000s I can't remember what year it was exactly and I'm there and back then there was about six six or seven auditors I know there was one from Europe I was there um, and a few Americans watching so but now like it's a thousand people turn up to watch Buck Brandon Man it's very different so th there was one particular horse it was a cold starting um, clinic and a horsemanship clinic so they did the cold starting in the morning so we 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 what there was this one particular horse that stood out and it was somebody Buck knew a rancher they got hundreds of horses and it was a very difficult horse it's always been difficult and although these cowboys know what they're doing it was one of those that was it was not happening so they got it to the clinic uh, last chance really it was it was either to the killers or could buck do something with it and buck just when a challenge like that comes he just really try so they they the owner was trying the ground what was buck was doing with the others and it wasn't working the horse was as stiff as a board it would just straighten its straighten its neck neck and head and just pull on the lead rope it got no flex in it they couldn't touch the feet at all so they couldn't get it saddled it was just just terrible and I thought no nah, it's not gonna happen uh, and suddenly there was a discussion with the owner and about three or four other cowboys and Buck Moses on over to us there was like I say there was only six or seven people watching back then and he, we were absolutely shocked because he just said guys we've got to do something now it's either to the killer's pen for this horse or I've got to do something now and the problem is it might kill the horse so we're all like oh my life what so could you go out if you if you don't want to see anything like that? It could it could kill the horse. What we're going to do, but it's its last chance. 
So none of us went, oh God, what's going on? Like, <laughs> so basically what he did, I'll, I'll be as quick as I can. They went, they got the holster on the horse, obviously with the long lead rope. And on the bucking shoots where they pull, pull it was like a, a, an arena that they did rodeos in and that where this clinic was. So they, they tied the horse very high with this 12, 13 foot line. They tied it solid high. And um, but got his flag and he, he whacked the thing. He whacked, he whacked it. The horse ran 24 foot because he, he sort of led it to the end of the 12 foot. So it galloped then to flee. 24 foot because you got the 12 foot, then you got the 12 foot and it bang, hit the end of the rope. Down the horse went. He ran to the horse, flagged it again. It jumped up, it ran 24 foot again. Bang, down it went. And he, he kept doing that, doing that. Everyone's standing back thinking, oh God, there's dust everywhere. And, but it was going to be sent to the killer's pound anyway. So eventually it gets up, it uh, gets up and, and it starts not galloping so much. It starts sort of cantering. And then literally within five minutes of him doing it, the, the float never left the rope. He could canter it and it would slow down. And as the rope came out, so it started to get a real bend in the horse and it was just not, not going to the end of the line. So it was just amazing what he'd done. And then he went and they went and untied it. Then Buck got some groundwork done with it. So that, that was done. The horse wouldn't run off. It had got, it respected the lead rope. And that was amazing to see that. And then obviously uh, with, with farriers and things, I mean, it was in a terrible way, the feet and whatever. So that he said, the only way we can do anything with the feet in the moment now is he wrote, he wrote the foot. Any shoers here? Come on, you cars. Which is similar to what I'm gonna do, but I'm not roping it, and I use soft rope and whatever, so it's a little bit different. I wouldn't dive into that sort of thing, but he was such a skilled man, he did it. He roped the foot. You're gonna see a little bit of what that is like now, but it's not that horse, it's exactly the same situation. And it's the same principle as what I do for, 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 for allowing the horse to search without me getting hurt and then accepting me to pick the fit foot up. When you're on him, you're gonna be real glad that I can stop him. Once you understand how much more control I have by a hind foot than I would, that you can cuddle him and kind of love on him too. So just pat him on the hind leg. I just see if you can just gently pick up the hoof. So I know that was quite an extreme method to see, uh, but that horse at the end of the five days was being ridden around. It got a lot more gentle. And you know, that they are extreme methods, but that saved that horse from, from, from being destroyed. So, uh, you know, that's what resonated with me, what could be done in extreme circumstances. So yeah, it was a good outcome for that horse and a great clinic for me. Um, so I, I hope uh, you think you, you can see the benefits of what I'm about to do from what I've just explained, okay? See how she's stepping? Yeah. Not allowing it to There's yeah. a disengagement. Now she's telling me there, for God's sake, I'm not going to move. Yeah. She says, you've got me. <laughs> Have it. And I knew she was, She wanted to stop then. Yeah. That was her idea to stand still. Yeah. Simple and as easy as that. Yeah. That's her idea to, to allow me to touch her back legs. Uh, uh, I, 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 I should have quit right at that moment then. Uh, my timing was just off. Now I'm going to get it now. I'm going to try, I think, I think I've got to the stage where I can get this on with, with quality, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to drop the rope. Pull that there. Now you see how I've been rubbing the, rubbing the legs, right? I can't believe you've got that on. Eh? Yeah, but I'd prepared, hadn't I? Yeah. What I'd have just been doing. Yeah. I prepared for this, right? Now. Now that's round her fet lock, look. Mm -hmm. Now, I can say to her, I'm gonna hold this so you don't run off yeah. now. I'm gonna keep it loose. <laughs> now I want her to be able to get to the stage where she can hold this up for me. Now she can thrash out all she wants. Yeah. All she gotta do is hold it there. And this will transfer to my hand. Yeah. And it's such a safer way of doing it. I mean, there, I want her to do this. This is good. This is good. Right, this is good. This is good. So she won't get a release in this until she searches and just holds that up. This is 
is what he wants this to happen. Yeah. Because yeah. right there, look, it's up. Yep. It's up. Come on. So second she takes the weight and holds it up, you let go of the pressure, is it? Right. Just for a split That's second, I need her to just hold this up for me. There. Right? Did you yeah. see that there? Yeah. Right. But people can't get this this applies for any size horse. Yeah. But I can't, you know, usually you've got a bit of a longer. Yeah. Right. So now, if I do that, oh, oh look. Yeah. So that little breakdown where she had to search. Yeah. Simple as this, right? There, look at this, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Do you see? Yeah. So I, I'm happy. She's lifting this for me now, and I've got that. So this is building. Right? I'm on the inside, which you said she didn't like. No. Right? Well, this is coming good now. Yeah. But right down for the chops, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll go again with that. She search there. This rope makes it so much easier. Yeah. So, rope again, so I've got that up in the air, I've got that, right, oh wow, look at that. Good girl. So she's searching, isn't she? Yeah. I've got, I'm not using the rope now, I reckon I could gym that. So it's better for her to just do that. Mm -hmm. Did it? Right down. And then she's not going to get rid of this until she stops. So quick. Take out as much as you want. That doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. Right? There you go. So most most trainers or horse people would think, oh no. I'm thinking, yes. Yeah. yeah. Is that me? Yeah, no. no yes. Definitely. That's what we want. So, okay. So I'm going to see whether now, without the rope, using the rope. Mm -hmm. Should we have another little episode, girl? Right, so that's quite good. Yeah. Put that down. And if it was my little horse, I'd be doing this a lot. Yeah. But I'd suggest you probably don't. Okay. And let me come back and just work on this for an hour. Yeah. Uh, let that soak for a few days. Yeah. Maybe Charlotte will come again. Yeah. And uh, because. Oh wow. Good girl. Do you think that's better than yeah. it was? How much better? A lot better. Like she was, you know. Like, she's... like how much? A hundred percent better. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay, now look. Now she's searching and saying, do you know what? It's not worth it. No, and I she certainly no touched breath. the inside of her leg so, as well. So so I'm happy. I'm gonna leave that at that with that foot. Yeah. Alright? I was actually going to leave it right there on that side with the feet because it was so nice. But I wonder if anyone noticed as I put it down, she had a little stomp. Uh, just didn't, she didn't feel quite right and, uh, and I couldn't leave it at that because the last thing that I did with that foot is the first thing she'll learn over the next week or so till I go back. So that's why I picked it up again. I thought it was important too and I hope you just about noticed that. She's kind of finding some comfort from from the rope, you know. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to leave it there. We, you need to get a smaller diameter, a little soft rope. Yeah. A bit longer than that. Okay. Because when I don't use the rope at the moment, she's finding she's finding she's been a little bit more. She knows when that's on her vet lock. Yeah. That's like a comfort to her now. Yeah. Weirdly. Yeah. All right, so that. Okay. Okay, so that's that foot done. We'll give her a break now, and I'm going to do the other foot. Oh, yeah. Relax. Yeah. All right, so there we got that. She's 
be searching with that. We've got that. Now I'm going to rub my. I'm going to see whether I can pick it out. Oh. Now I've got that foot. I'm rubbing it. Yeah. I'm rasping it. Yeah. And I'm going to take this off right now. Because I'm not going to overdo that. She's been through enough, really, for her little brain. Good, yeah. How's that then? Not bad. Yeah. So we'll. Where do you want to put her? I'll put her in here with Tyler. Yeah. There you go then. So that's pretty much where I left it in the first session. I'm then going back. Uh, just to concentrate on on the back feet really and just check how our groundwork's going. Um, so I, I, ideally in the real world, it's time that helps horses, the amount of time spent or quality time spent. And you know, when I go to places or a horseman goes to somewhere, you haven't got much time, so you've got to plant a seed. That's all I do is plant a seed, which is the hardest little bit really where you need the experience that someone like me's got. So I plant a seed, and then it's up to the owner then to put the time and to, to work at it to improve things further. Because like I say, I'm only planting a seed, so I can't flick a switch, leave, and it's all sorted. Because the horse isn't sure about anything I've showed it. It was only searching and trying, and it would revert back very quickly if the owners keep doing what they've always done. Because if they do, they'll always have had what they've always had. So. Um, yeah, okay, well, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.